Hello, this is SJWN123, and today we'll be starting, hopefully, what is going to be a new series in which I play Fate, which is a pretty fun dungeon, tra dungeon crawler type game, and we'll just see how far we can get into it, which is going to be pretty far, because we can't die. You know, well, we'll die, but there's not much of a penalty. So, uh, let's start a new character, shall we? Let's set it on hero. I don't really want to die super fast. Uh, let's call him a shit for the N123, I suppose. What do you even look like? Not that. Not that. Uh, not that. Not that. Uh, should we do that? It kind of scares me. Yeah. <laughs> Gandalf the Grey approaches, perhaps? Yeah, I'm gonna be Avatar. No. Maybe I should just, you know. You know, I, I kinda like that beard. The next thing is. <laughs> oh man. Oh, these images are just hilarious. Maybe I should go with that. I don't really want the beard and glasses. Some weird tattoo on his face. You know, I have glasses in real life. How about that? Uh, I don't like that good. I don't want to keep them normal, but... I just have, like, Mozart. <laughs> okay, there. Original. Alright. That's freaky. Alright, except... <laughs> Why is she better just than me? What should my pet's name be? I'm not very... And a very original with names. Bree, Isil, Arun. I can't say most of these. Yar, Barn, Bear, Kosh, Rendane J, no. Zor, Bear, Z, Aram. Since oldest living I'm memory, the dungeon gate has stood in the hey, heart of the old FPS. world. Its doorway leads Yay. to infinite possibility, to subterranean lands fabled guy. in stories and myths. Many adventurers have passed over that ancient threshold, some to find fame, glory, and wealth beyond telling, and others never to return. The town of Grove has ever been a safe haven at the dungeon's mouth, a watering hole and resting place for weary adventurers. Here, great tales are told by the inn's fire, journeys are planned, and legacies are made. That's nice. The minstrels sing of the great That's... feats of heroes long gone. I shall be and that. Statues but I shall live. Square, a testament to their deeds. I'll be. I'll become After one of traveling many that hard my, and dusty days, you and your faithful companion arrive at last in oh, the fabled Aragorn. forest town, which waits beneath the long shadow of the gate. Aragorn. Within these walls lies the path to infinite adventure. It is here that you will test your worth, and perhaps find fortune and glory along the way. It is here that you will determine your fate. <laughs> Alright, I think we still got one more slide after this. Uh, half this episode is going to be slides, I know it. Anywho, this is a pretty fun game. We'll see. Are you going to say anything? or Do I got to say this part? Tales tell of a great undead giant whose name is spoken in whispers. Horn... Okay, is that a good enough whisper? Whisper? For centuries, it has waited on the 45th level of the dungeon, its evil seeping up toward the town. You must destroy it once and for all and rid the world of its evil influence. It is your fate, adventurer. Will you meet it? We shall, but we're not going to use a bow. Those are for chumps. And they just kind of suck. In my ex, at least. Bows are just... I mean, why how many times Your journey has begun. Like, just like everything was a trap. Uh, 
us turn on running and reveal items. And pretty good. Alright, this is our little guy. And then El Elrond. Lord of the Rings, perhaps. Let's talk to the innkeeper Bottleby. Well, let me show you what I have to sell, huh? Alright, I mean, I'm only gonna buy a fishing pole. That's all I really can buy. So, let's go fishing, shall we? I don't know why, but I, when I played this, I just had this ritual of always buying a fishing pole. I'm just going here. Let's fish with no bait. Ooh, first try, nice. That's pretty quick. I, I wanted to wait like five minutes for a fish. It was insane. I don't think we can get any real special fish. I might find a ring. That's pretty, pretty rare. Alright, uh, let's go get some quests. And then we'll head down into the dungeon. And maybe we'll use a fish. We'll use you a have fish received if, like, a task. We'll have to use one of the fish if we come across a boss, maybe. Most of the time I just sell them, unless they're the, uh, the great fish. Well met! That, like, transform your pet forever. I'm talking like most of you guys know this game, which probably most people don't. Although, I don't know, you might know of it. It's a pretty fun game, isn't it? A horde of cursed swords are skulking. Sulking, sulking, skulking. I don't know, maybe it's playing hordes. On level 3, attacking adventurers who pass by. It's bad for trade. Who would trade down there? Actually, I'm not going to answer that question because I know who. <laughs> Do away with the beasts. And you will have our gratitude. I give you this Drake Amulet of Greed. You have received the quest. It's nice, I'm gonna be greedy. Uh, should I give you a quick, quick little overview around town? I don't really have much time left. This video might be a bit longer. I'm gonna try and aim for 15 minutes, but this might go over because first episode. Healer person heals you for free. This guy will sing about you if you give him money. And it will uh, upgrade your uh, skills. Give you points. Now uh, this guy is a gambler. This guy, uh, yeah, he removes gem from it, from items, but it'll destroy the items. He has a counterpart. Counterpart. If I open the map over on this side, who will cut? Who will? <clears throat> oh, sorry. He'll remove the gems, but the gems will stay good and the item will be destroyed. There's a blacksmith. I don't usually talk to him. Uh, this gal over here, she uh, sells magical items, which is pretty useful. Let me see this guy if I can talk to him. Another you have received three. a quest. We got a lot of stuff to do on level three. Well, this one's up to five basilisks. Alright, well, I'm full on quests. Get back to start. Who's the general trades guy over here? This is the guy's kind of, kind of part I was talking about. And here's Guts the Traveler, who. You can oh, sell God stuff. deals nobody can touch. And we gotta say, these are some good items. So he's a nice guy, and you can also find. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yes. Put my watch. Uh, you can find, I think it's his brother down. Oh, my nose. You can find him down in the dungeon sometime. There's a gate. Oh, and that's the guy we gotta talk to once we defeat that guy on level 44, which is gonna take us a while. <laughs> once we start. Alright, there's a death trap. Kill, kill, kill! There we go. That's nice. Stamina potion. Wonderful. You have triggered a trap. See what I mean? Traps are everywhere. Oh, that's a boot. It's possibly the fastest armor I've found in the game. That gel is just like, I don't care. He's fleeing. He's gonna lead me to a trap. He almost did. So yeah, we're just gonna run around and miss a lot of gels. So my dog fight them off. Oh, cool. We found a short sword. Is that better than what I have? Not really. Nice. 
I know. What am I saying? Of course it's I can do this. More boots. Alright, now... What was I saying? Uh, two weapons out of the one but pendant, which is useless. Drink of the potion. Nice that they start you off with your potion, otherwise playing on a more difficult difficulty you a will trap probably has die. Been sprung. All the traps, I mean like I like opening these things because they sometimes have nice things in them, but like so many traps, like if you play on cage, which is the easiest difficulty, you don't run into like any traps until maybe you're about level 10 of the dungeon. This is like, oh yeah, level one. There's some traps. Back. Ooh, that's okay. Dog, come back. I want to turn you into an animal. Greater basilisk or temple? Your pet has been transformed. I guess a basilisk. <laughs> I have a basilisk, but it's not really a basilisk. Like... Alright, let's go kill this guy. Come on, friend. And then we'll attempt bait. Shall we attempt bait? You have gained an experience and skill. Oh, we leveled up, nice. Ah, uh, good luck for me. Hopefully I didn't turn down the volume for you guys. Hopefully the volume is okay. Yeah, let's clear the room before we do anything stupid. Ooh, a book of identity. That is really useful. A socket of green. Alright, anything around here you that have sprung the might trap. want to kill? Anything here that I might want to use? I want to identify you. Well, I guess that's a pretty decent thing. How about this ring? It's a sucky ring. <laughs> Will you tempt fate? Oh uh, yeah, we summoned a monster. Does he need to help? Go you guys. Oh, my pet has been poisoned. <laughs> one is that antidote he found. Another scroll! Yay, this guy did not give anything good. Alright, where should we put our points? Normally, I kind of go for the charm. Charm magic. Because the charm magic spells, spells are incredibly useful. Is that the mimic? Okay, good. I was going to be like, if that's a mimic, that is the lowest level mimic I've ever seen. I was playing yesterday on Legendary, and I ran into a mimic on level 2, which I did not think was possible. <laughs> not even on Legendary, but I, I found one, so I guess it is possible. Now Rom is back to his doggy state. Find a shield. I'd rather use a shield. Uh, let's switch out some stuff with my pet. Not that. There we go. One percent magic penalty. That is a useless ring. Uh, should we send him back to town? It's not gonna take him. Your pet has departed. I'm sure we can live without him. I said that once to myself when I was playing this. I ran into some giant like Yeti boss. <laughs> Your pet has returned. That's a lot of gold for doing absolutely nothing. I would have sucked if there was like, some sort of special item in that. Better. You have gained an experience and skill. Level up. I'm gonna increase this just to... in case I find an item that I might use someday, which I find that unlikely. Never know. Never know. I wanna go too far this way, but I keep being dragged this way. 
This is a really big level, is it not? Stop. A trap has been sprung. None of those traps are crazy. Is it just me? Look at that. a bow. I mean, I guess I could see the advantage of it if you have like a really boss pet. But if you don't have a good pet, then it's not much use to. Oh my gosh. Not much use to having a bow. Maybe unless you find like a really good bow. That, that forest thing is what you have. How big is this level? Like, I can't zoom out. This is a really big level one. I don't know if I've ever found a level one this big. Good luck, we barely explored it. There's lots of options to pass here. We'll just go up this one up here, maybe. See what you are find. exhausted. I'm exhausted. I'm just a small little potion. Another scroll. Nice. Your pet has increased in power. Yeah, your pet's leveled up. I mean, I don't have any control of what he levels up, but he levels up. Nice. All right, here's the way down. All right. Uh, well, we can make it very far. I suppose this is a. Uh, I like find a good place to stop. So you want to die here. Which would really suck. It's like I just found the exit. Well, actually, I think my map data saves. So, I'll still be here. Oh, I'm so annoying. I gotta get here. And friends, am I close to the entrance? Because most of the time the exit is pretty close to the entrance. No, I am not. That is a really far distance to make me travel. Just to get to level 2. Alright, well, let's clear out this room and then I'm gonna end the episode here. And bid you all adieu so I can, I don't know, do something else. Make sure I'll find something else to do. Alright, I friends. Maybe. Alright, uh, is there anything back here? No. Alright, well, that was a nice relaxing game of fate right here. Uh, I'll make another one of these episodes. We're probably gonna... We're gonna play at least to, uh... Until the boss. Once we beat the boss, I'll either end the series and start a new one. Where we play as this kid's descendant. Or maybe we'll just, you know, end the series. I don't know, it depends how much fun we'll have with this. Anywho, have a good day everyone. My name is SJWN123 and goodbye.